Tonight's episode of Thank God You're Here, proudly brought to you by Hungry Jacks. Only first timer tonight, but he's no stranger to performing. One half of the hugely successful American Rosso juggernaut currently heard on Nova. Tonight he's flying solo. Give it up for Mr. Merrick Watts. <laughs> Uh, I've got these clothes at home, uh, but I just don't wear them socially as much as I used to. Oh, yeah. Uh, just wear them around the, around the house? Yeah, and when I go to parties dressed as a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice icebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now, this is your first time, mate. Yeah. Um, feeling good? I feel really excited, actually. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to going through one of the doors. Fantastic. That's the one you're going through. Merrick Watts, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank God you're here. Your parent-teacher interviews were supposed to start ten minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> uh, Mr and Mrs Reynolds, sorry to uh, keep you. You, of course, know uh, Mr David Strawn, who's Chris's teacher. David, call me Strawny. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you three to it. Thanks, Beryl. <sighs> <laughs> so, well, how's Chris doing? He's doing very good. Yeah, he's a very, um, he's a very bright kid, isn't he? Chris is a girl. But he looks like a boy. <laughs> and that's, that's why he's, he's doing, she's doing so well in the playground. Well, what would you say are her main strengths as a student? I'd say probably uh, her fighting ability is very good. <laughs> she's pretty on it at uh, the playground. I think that's probably her strength, yeah. And she's got a pretty wicked uh, arm wrestle and Chinese burns coming on very well. Look, I, I wonder if we can go over a couple of things on her report card. Love to. I mean, uh, here you describe her as a vivacious discombobulator. Yes. What does that mean? Well, she's been quite uh, vivacious and then she discombobulated on the table. <laughs> First, I didn't want to say anything because I don't know if it's like a family thing. Do you just come back? It's a big word. I'll, I'll explain it to you another time. Right. Uh, you've also given her a, a, an A for French. Yes. Very good. Very good. A is the highest mark I give. Well, she doesn't do French. But when she did, she was an A. I mean, what about science classes? I mean, she brought home a rather unusual research project last week. Yeah. <laughs> she won't learn, will she? I've told her, do it with seeds, not with plastic. <laughs> I wonder why she's failing. Obviously, you regard missing class as a very serious issue. Yes. Why do you miss so many? Like, I'm very busy. I've got, there's a lot of kids in this world who don't have schools. And I go to them and teach them in their non-schools. <laughs> Africa, places like that, and Mildura. <laughs> Look, we should come straight to the point here. We're, we're pretty concerned about your uh, teaching techniques. Why? <laughs> I reckon they're pretty good. Well, what about home economics? Oh, home economics? I mean, um, it looks like all the girls are involved in cooking you dinner. <laughs> what well, are you supposed to learn from that? Well, they've got to learn at some stage. And guess what, lady? They're not learning from mum, are they? <laughs> Excuse me. And then you get them to wash your car. I mean, what subject's that for? It's about water use in the proper way. So when they hose my car, I go, Bad children! Buckets. <laughs> that's, that's environmental studies, that. Right. Mr. Storm, we've finished the physics assignment. Using steam really does help iron your shirts better. Yeah, it does. What's wrong with this picture? What's wrong? I sent away three shirts. <laughs> Today, we're going to treat your taste buds to something special. Satay chicken. Take one Hungry Jack's Flame Grilled Chicken Burger, add satay sauce, 
and voila, satay chicken burger. And for the beef lovers amongst us, take one Hungry Jack's big beefy burger, add satay sauce, and there you have it, a satay beef burger. Takes your taste to another place. Oh yeah. The burgers are better at Hungry Jack's.